I am the way, and the truth, and the life, and he that has seen me has seen the Father, verses. In John chapter 14, verse 6, the verse states, I am the way, and the truth, and the life. And in John chapter 14, verse 9, it says, Anyone who has seen me has seen the Father. These count as additional verses in the Bible that Christians have misunderstood by pulling verses out of context without reading the verses that come before and after them. Christians think these verses prove that Jesus Christ is the Father, or part of the Father in the Trinity. To understand the meaning of these verses, one should understand its proper context by reading the verses before and after it, as opposed to simply reading one line. It starts in John chapter 14, verse 1. Do not let your hearts be troubled. You believe in God, believe also in me. My Father's house has many rooms. If that were not so, would I have told you that I am going there to prepare a place for you? And if I go and prepare a place for you, I will come back and take you to be with me, that you may also be where I am. You know the way to the place where I am going. Jesus tells his disciples that they know where he is going and how to get there. However, the disciples misunderstood his reference and stated that they did not see how they could know the way. They thought he was referring to a physical, geographical destination in this world. But Jesus Christ was referring to embarking on a spiritual journey to God so his people can earn God's kingdom, paradise. Then Jesus Christ responded, I am the way and the truth and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. John chapter 14 verse 6. Jesus Christ tells his disciples that since he is their God-appointed messenger, they need to follow him as he is the way, the truth, and the life, as every prophet was for their people. However, the disciples did not understand what Jesus Christ meant. Philip said, Lord, show us the Father, and that will be enough for us. John chapter 14 verse 8. Philip wanted to see God with his own eyes, but seeing God in this world is impossible, as stated in John chapter 1 verse 18 and 1 John chapter 4 verse 12. No one has ever seen God. Then Jesus responded, Don't you know me, Philip, even after I have been among you such a long time? Anyone who has seen me has seen the Father. How can you say, show us the Father? Jesus told them, You have been with me for a while now and should know better than to ask God to see God the Almighty in this world, as seeing God is rationally impossible. This is a strange request. If you cannot even stare at the sun in this world, how do you expect to see God the Almighty? Jesus Christ said, if you have seen me, you have seen the Father. Meaning, if you understand me and my mission, you will realize who God, the Father, is. Jesus tells them that if they follow his commandments, they will follow God, the Father's commandments. In other words, Jesus Christ is telling his disciples that by following him, they are following God in the heavens by extension. As is the case with past nations, if the people followed their prophet's commandments, they would have followed God's commandments by extension, because God appointed a messenger for each nation to learn and follow. Jesus Christ was telling them that the actions and miracles that God willed him to do are sufficient proof of the existence of God, and that he is their messenger, without a need for God to come down every time someone is doubtful of his existence. Christians wrongfully believe that when Philip and the disciples saw Jesus Christ, they had seen God the Father. Christians believe Jesus Christ is the Father, or part of the Father, as both are one in the Trinity, and Jesus Christ is the incarnation of God, according to Christians. 
However, this concept would contradict John chapter 1 verse 18 and John chapter 4 verse 12. As it states, no one has ever seen God.